While we may not ever scientifically learn exactly what ignites life to even exist, you may still have questions such as, where did life come from? Where did it originate from? Of which there are many interesting theories on this subject. However, those theories will not be discussed here. Humanities and philosophy is the place to go for those kinds of great discussions. The purpose of the Health Science Technology Principles course is to only address what scientists so far have discovered. So far, scientists have discovered that there are six common elements that make all life possible on this planet, and that all living organisms here must satisfy six basic functions of life, that is, if they are to sustain life throughout its assigned life cycle. In this series, we will learn about the human cell structures and their specific functions each must perform and complete in order for the human organism to stay alive and healthy throughout its expected life cycle. In addition, we will discuss the disease process, which is essentially a dysfunction that can occur at any time when any of the six basic functions of a healthy organism is negatively impacted. We will look at the main factors responsible for initiating the disease process. As stated before, we can only discuss what has been scientifically learned through the study of biology, a term which means the study of life. So, let's begin where the scientists begin. The basic substance of all life is protoplasm. Protoplasm is found in all living things. It is composed of six ordinary elements, oxygen, carbon, nitrogen, sulfur, hydrogen, and phosphorus. It is the protoplasm that creates the basic unit of life, which is the cell. Its structure and its six basic essential functions required for life. 